Welcome back to my Final Fantasy XIV drama series. Today's drama story is about the botting troll. If you enjoy these kinds of videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Coming up. Dude, that's crazy. Now I'm wondering what the heck? What did they see? <laughs> that I don't want... The adult... No, I don't want to say this. Let's begin. Hello, Patra. Call me Midnight Dancer, and I would like to tell you the tale of how one troll tried to kill a club and the brave fight to rid the world of Eorzea of this troll. Damn. It's like they're selling me a trailer for a game. <laughs> Firstly, I would like to say I have enjoyed your drama series thus far. They just prove that there are people out there whose sole purpose in the game is to cause grief and misery to others. It's true. You could be very, very unlucky and run into one of those people. So far, I have yet to experience any such drama myself. But for the past three weekends, I have been witness to extreme harassment and bullying of an in-game club that I enjoy visiting. A little bit about me. I am handicapped and normal movement is very restrictive for me. One of my few joys in life is logging into Final Fantasy XIV to play, to run, to fly, and do the one thing that I can no longer do. Dance. Oh. I know it is just an avatar in a virtual world, but it brings me great joy and happiness to go to the in-game clubs, listen to the Twitch DJs, and dance alongside other people's avatars. Besides dancing, I also have so much fun doing shots? There's like a G in there. I'm pretty sure that's a mistype. Shgots? Shgots. Besides dancing, I also have so much fun doing shgots where I shake up a bottle of Realm Reborn Red to spray about, dancing in sync with others, creating some line dancing. There is also death roll tourneys, blackjack, and wonderful bartender who is a great roleplay person. Out of all the clubs I have ever visited, this one is my favorite, and I am always greeted by the staff and owners with a dote. I look forward to each week for the weekend so I can get my dance on. For the past three weekends, this joy has been crushed under the feet of at least 50 Rogadins, all dressed in black tuxedos. Oh no, 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 it's one of those. We've seen that, right? We see them sometimes in Limsa and like clubs, but I honestly, I've heard this. I'm so glad someone submitted a story about this because I kind of heard about this incident. Imagine zoning into a mansion and finding yourself buried in the backside of a male row. Then finding yourself surrounded by black tuxedos wearing rows and this is just in the entryway. The main club area was far worse. Dance floor, bar area, VIP area, DJ area. You couldn't throw a goblin without hitting a row. All with hands on their hips, not saying a word, not responding. Just a total takeover of someone else's house and maxing out the occupant limit on the house making. It is impossible for anyone to enter. Dude, that's crazy. The owner of the club on ferry server even moved the venue to two other data centers and worlds in one night in order to get away from this troll during the first week. Sadly, they found out where the venue had moved to and proceeded to crowd out everyone else who had taken the time to travel so far to stay with the venue. Oh God, so they moved to the new venues too. I know the club owner has been in contact with the GMs, but thus far, nothing has been done. I also asked him what happened to cause all this distress. They told me that this troll viewed adult content on the club's Discord in an adult area, even though they have been banned many times, but they keep creating new accounts to sneak back in. Uh, OP doesn't know for sure, but word on the street by asking the club owner 
why is this happening? The club owner says, well, this person who's doing all the Rogadin botting or whatever saw some some adult content that they didn't like. Dude, now I'm wondering what the heck? What did they see? I even tried to talk to the troll to get his side of the story. And they admitted to viewing the adult content and were upset about it being there. Talks with this troll broke down quickly since all they would do is repeat my questions back to me and tell me I was sending them DMs to harass them. I guess I could not understand how viewing an adult picture on a Discord server, one where they had been banned on under previous accounts, had incited such a venomous response in a totally different medium. So I simply placed them on my blacklist and ignored them. Like, okay, we're all not, like, we're not kids here. We've all seen adult content before. Was it something so, 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 so bad? Or are they just being butthurt because they got banned and kicked out of the Discord and now they're just doing some, like, revenge thing? I don't know. Okay, the adult content... I can't believe I'm about to say this. The, I don't want the adult. No, I don't want to say this. The adult content is a nude with a horse's dick. I feel like a like Asmund Gold pulled up something like this, or was it or was it Forsen? Accidentally pulled out something like this on on stream and got banned on Twitch for it or something. Oh god, no. So that's what they saw. <laughs> that's why it took me a while. Where was I? In the following weekends, the owners tried to keep the venue going by locking the house and moving the venue out to the yard. Sadly, this has proven to fail as well. The troll showed up with all of their avatars and proceeded to flood the yard with Midgar Sommer mounts. They took up the entire yard, making it impossible to find any place to dance. The troll also fantasia all of the Rogadins into auras, and all of them were now wearing white tuxedos and wearing the angelic wings that only come from the Mog Station. You know, I wonder if there's any people out there who like will read this and be like, oh my god, I know exactly where this is, and I was there, and I saw that happen. Oh my gosh. But imagine like your favorite place, like your favorite club, and then now it's just being terrorized. When patrons of the venue asked politely for them to please dismount, the requests were ignored or rebutted with negative answers. They refused to dismount or move and just continued to take up as much space as possible. Many patrons to this venue left for other clubs because of the toxic actions of this troll. Some people who have just found this venue also turned away with no idea what was going on since the house was locked and the yard was full of the same type of mount with the same type of avatar. This troll was dictating what people can do in the game. On top of this, I witnessed the use of bots. I am not sure what else to call it when a large group of avatars all mount up and move at the same time or when a person who is sitting on a fence is suddenly on top of the awning of the house, which I lucky enough caught all on video for evidence. I have combed through all of the TOS of Final Fantasy XIV and have found at least five violations. I could not understand why Final Fantasy XIV had done nothing to stop the actions to this one troll to bully, harass, use bots, automation software, and hacks to disrupt or interfere with the game experience of other players and obstruction of play, stalking and being able to dictate the experience other players have by overtaking a club and pushing others out. I sent in my evidence to CS and also the special unit Square Enix has for reporting TOS violations and waited. I know others also sent in CS tickets about the situation as well. Last weekend when this happened, I could feel the strength of those of us who wanted to support this club begin to fade. Uh-oh. They were losing hope. I am sure the owners were discouraged as well. It had become the darkest hour of my beloved club 
with this scum of a troll winning the battle by forcing the club to close. I told my friend of this club's plight and they said this reminded them of something that happened on the Japanese servers. Back in the late 2016, a Japanese raid group bullied one of its new members out of the group. Once the news got out, the Japanese community decided to shame the bullies by surrounding their FC mansion with tons of white rogadins in their undies. I am pretty sure that the entire event was called White Fairies Incident in Japanese. You can find this information out on Reddit. This might not be the same thing as the White Fairies Incident, but it seems like the troll is using that as a template. I remember a few months ago, back in November 2023, Limsa Luminsa was overtaken by a large group of Rogadins wearing black tuxedos. Why did they do that? A show of force. The, hey, look at what I can do. To me, it was more, look at how much time I have on my hands to create 50 accounts and look at what I can do in Limsa Luminsa. They stood around that zone for almost a week. But no one should be able to dictate what others do in the game. Don't like a club? Don't go. Don't like what a Discord channel has in its sections? Don't go there and view it. A player should be able to enjoy any club they choose to enjoy whichever Twitch DJ they wish to listen to. No one person should be able to control and dictate what other players can and cannot do. This is nothing but a case of one player bullying another and a whole community who only wish to gather and have a good time together. Then the fourth weekend rolled around and I hurried to reach the club at opening time. The door was unlocked and the yard was open. No trolls so far. I entered the club and looked around. Again, no troll. Had the Eorzea gods heard our plea? No trolls showed up all night. I cannot express in words how much my heart was overjoyed for the club owners and for everyone else who loves this club. It just chokes me up and I hope this never happens again to them nor to any other club owner. I doubt it was just my CS tickets and I am sure others who also sent in CS tickets about this troll helped put a stop to it. I say to you all, never give up, never surrender. The Final Fantasy XIV GMs do care about this sort of harassment and if people stand up and say something, Things will be handled. The end. Dude, I'm glad that it's it's been sorted. I'm sure that took a really long, like, it took a while. How long? They said, okay, the fourth weekend. Okay, so a month. <laughs> the claps. <laughs> you guys are so cute in the chat. Having a job as a GM seems so much fun. Dude, I wonder what it would be like, right, to be a GM. Honestly, I would totally apply, but I don't even know. I don't even know how to apply to be the GM. Like, I don't know where they even list. I think you have to speak Japanese also. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad this has a happy ending. Thank you, OP, for submitting the story. This is a, a case that many of us heard about. And some of us didn't know how it was resolved. I'm glad that the GM came to help. I'd say it's kind of a rare case. Like, it doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's like, oh my god, how are we going to deal with this? Yoshi P, please hire Patrick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, obviously I could not work at the Japanese office because I don't know how to speak Japanese or, or like work on the Japanese servers, but I would totally love to do random stuff like that for NA servers. I feel bad for the club owner. Yeah. What exactly do the GMs do? Oh, they probably go through a ton of tickets of weird different cases. There's probably lots of harassment, a lot of a lot of like people probably even just asking questions. OK, what kind of tickets have you guys submitted in my chat? I'll tell you one ticket I submitted. It was a time where I I was trying to get this one item, one savage item, and I ended up getting a gunbreaker item instead of instead of for samurai and i was like oh my god i got the wrong item and i tried to contact a gm to like switch the item to a samurai because i badly needed the samurai item it didn't it didn't happen i never got i never got it switched it was completely accidental i was doing it very fast i got the wrong item and it's one of those things during the early weeks of savage it's so heartbreaking to accidentally get the wrong item i know i know i've learned my lesson do it very slowly being stuck in a dead FC where the next where the next in line FC leader set the house 
permissions to private so none of the FC members could go in the house couldn't leave the FC because you couldn't deactivate your FC room oh my god so you're literally stuck with no way to contact them and SCGMs don't really care oh my gosh that's annoying based on bad experience I had and reported I only feel they see the report and go that's rough buddy and leave it at that yeah I think there's a lot of cases where people don't like how the GMs handle stuff it takes too long, I think, for something to actually be fixed. It takes a month or more. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this Final Fantasy XIV drama story. If you have any of your own drama stories that you'd like me to share and read out anonymously, feel free to reach out to my Discord, discord.gg/patra.